When we think of the planet Earth, we think of it as the planet that is best for life to exist. But what if that's not the case? Supernova style science news with Jelly Seven Sage. A team of researchers led by Dr. Stephanie Olson, a T.C. Chamberlain postdoctoral fellow at the University of Chicago, has studied multiple exoplanets for their level of possibility of sustaining life. The exoplanets they studied are all planets that are in the habitable zone. The habitable zone is the place in orbit around the star where the conditions that can support life can be found. One of these conditions is a liquid ocean on the surface of the planet. However, some planets will be better than others because of their ocean current circulation. Their research shows that planets with better ocean circulation patterns will probably hold more active and abundant life than what we have here on our planet Earth. With our Earth possibly having over 1 trillion species, imagine the amount of life on an even better planet. The team used Rock 3D software created by NASA Goddard Space Institute for Space Studies, where they simulated the climates and ocean habitats on different types of exoplanets, and defined the types of exoplanets that stand the best chance of developing or sustaining extreme biospheres. For life in the ocean, it mostly depends on upwelling, or upward flow of nutrients from the bottom of the ocean all the way to the top of the ocean. The reason why this is so important to life in the ocean is the more upwelling there is, the more nutrients that are distributed, such the more life that can be sustained. They found that higher atmospheric density, slower rotation rates, and the presence of continents all give higher upwelling rates. From this, there may be other planets that would actually sustain life in the ocean better than our own does here on Earth. Doing models like these are important because we can't send people or probes to these far, far, far away planets. So to try to predict which exoplanets will have life, we need to figure out which ones we need to look for and then find them with our telescopes. These planets will be the ones that will be the easiest to see the signs of life and figure out which planets we really need to be looking at. So who knows? Maybe in the next few decades, we'll be finding alien marine life on other planets. If you want to know more, check out the links below in the description. If you want more cool science news, follow. Remember to share cool science stories with your friends to show your supernova style.